Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're going to be looking at the definition of current assets, also known as working assets. As I do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I will give you the actual definition. Then we'll go on to look at an example and see if I can give you a little more insight into the actual usage of this terminology. A current asset is a balance sheet account showing assets which can be converted into cash within 12 months. Current assets include cash, accounts receivable, inventory, short-term investments, prepaid liabilities, and other liquid assets that can be readily converted to cash. Now let's look at an example. The current assets are the first thing you're going to find listed on a company's balance sheet. You can see the balance sheet right here and you can see right down below there on the assets you have current assets. That includes all of these right here. And these are the assets that, like I said, can be uh, turned into cash or converted into cash within 12 months. Those below the current section will be the long term or the fixed assets, which will take longer to uh, actually liquidate into cash. And so this is the section right here. It's also known as the working uh, assets, and it's because they are actually responsible for making uh, the money for uh, the company, basically. Uh, let me get the right tools. Let's see if I can do that. All right, you can see that the company has cash here, and it gets then rolled into inventory, and then the inventory gets sold, and you get net receivables, and then it comes back into basically being turned into cash. You have this big circle going on right here, uh, which I can't apparently draw with straight lines, but in any event, that's why it's called uh, working assets, because they are working all the time to generate more cash for the company. Current assets are very important to businesses because they are the assets that are used to fund the day-to-day -day operations and pay ongoing expenses. The current assets fall short. Whenever that happens, management is forced to either take on more debt, which increases the interest payments and the debt level, or issue more shares to the public, which of course dilutes the current shareholders. So it's very important to keep an eye on current assets and make sure that they are uh, enough to take care of the business as it continues to move forward. If you get in a cash crunch, you're going to see a company get into a lot of trouble. So that's a very important aspect of analyzing the balance sheet. Now we will go over each one of these items under the current assets uh, section here uh, in different tutorial videos, uh, probably one per, per every single uh, category. Uh, however, I just wanted to make sure that you're aware that the assets are, of course, listed in their order of liquidity. So. Uh, the more liquid that item would be, the closer to being cash it is, the higher on the list it falls. So basically that's why cash is at the top and then below that with short term investments and then below that would be receivables which are just waiting to be turned into cash and then below that would be inventory and so forth and so on. Okay, And now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.